In this video, we're going to be breaking down, <coughs> excuse me, a great cover three bomb out of the gun tight offset tight end. This is in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. If you'd like to get my entire New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon for just $10. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We released the New Orleans ebook about a week and a half ago, and we're continuing to update it as we find new things. That's the other cool part about the Patreon, is all of our ebooks get updates throughout the season as well, uh, with the latest patch updates or as we find new um, concepts. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. And like I said, you get access to everything. So it's not just the New Orleans book, you'll get access to all of our other ebooks over there. I think I have 18 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon as of this point. Let's take a look at Y out HB swing. This is in the New Orleans Saints playbook. And the setup is actually really simple. All we're going to do is streak our tight end. And then we want to snap this ball as fast as possible. And what you're going to notice is if I am in a cover three, you are going to see here that this corner route is going to pull this outside third. And it's going to be a really nice cover three beater over the middle. Now what you want to do when you run this play ideally is you want to have your um, running back to the wide side of the field. I just think that's a little bit better um, just from a separation perspective. You want that running back to the wide side of the field. You'll see here if I continue to wait on this, I can kind of split the safeties, but it can get a little dicey. So I'd rather you throw this. Um, it's actually much better if they're pressed up. But I would rather you throw this like as soon as he comes underneath the deep safety. This streak is just going to pull that third. And then what you'll see here is we're going to be able to put that ball right in that little window for a nice little cover three beater. Now this also is pretty effective against pretty much any zone. Um, if they run cover four, you're going to see here because this post runs from a compressed alignment. Uh, you see right there, that inside quarter did play me right there. But a lot of times what will happen is the inside quarter will basically suck to that streak. And you'll be able to throw this. So as long as he doesn't run into him. If he runs into him, it's not open. But if he doesn't run into him, this has potential to bomb uh, cover four as well. So, you know, you have kind of a cover three and a cover four beater built into one play there you see see how if he doesn't um if he doesn't run into him that post will continue to run uh and will basically get open a lot easier so you have that ability as well within this play to be a potential uh to beat cover four if they once he passes this inside quarter you see there he matched on so i've got to be careful with that um you know but anyways by and large this is a really good cover three beater um if they were to run cover two i will show you something with cover two Cover two, actually, kind of same thing as cover three. Like, just where you throw this is kind of important. You see, I can't throw it on the left side, unfortunately. What I want to do if I'm playing someone and they're running cover two on me is I want to throw this early on the cut. So what you'll see is I want to throw it kind of right in that little area right there and cut that off um, against, you know, cover two. But really, this is play is designed um, to be able to really uh, specifically attack cover three. Okay, I think it's best against cover three. So just kind of keep that in mind, you know, just kind of right in that little area. You see it's able to attack, you know, cover three. Now, the other thing that I want to go over is how does this play work against man to man? What well, actually works pretty good against man to man because you have a little uh, corner route on the left side. And we know that corner routes are one of the best ways to attack man to man coverage this year. So, you know, tight offset tight end is really good against man to man. So if they're spamming man coverage, um, this is a great formation to use. Also, if you have like short and elite, a lot of times this post will light up. As you can see right there, we're able to get some separation against man. And then the last read that I really utilize against man coverage, if they are in cover zero, I might look at that seam streak. But this little drag underneath is actually not too bad. Um, it gets more separation when you have an ability there, like a short and elite. Or if they're not pressing, which is actually really common. Um, you know, so just kind of keep that in mind. But again, you have the post, you have the corner, and then you have um, this little drag. Now, the other thing I will say is that this little block and release uh, route to the running back um, is actually really good against any kind of blitz. So, like, let's say here, 
I'm just going to send a little blitz here. The running back actually in this year's game will stay in a lot better than he has in previous years. So you saw right there his ability to kind of pick up the blitz. Again, you're going to need to have good pocket, of course. But you see here, he's picking up the blitz. He'll pick up the blitz, and then he'll actually release into the flat. So it kind of gives you that little split second of time. Another thing you could do is you could max protect. That'll go ahead and block your running back, and then you can streak this guy. That'll save you so that you can still hot route it relatively quickly. Um, you know, but the big idea with this is we want to snap the ball as fast as possible, and this play is primarily designed to attack the cover three uh, for big, big chunk yardage. So. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the New Orleans ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. You can get the full ebook uh, over at the Patreon for just 10 bucks, and it will get you access to everything that's in the Patreon, all um, 18 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks and updates to the ebooks that we will release. So make sure that you join the Patreon, and if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.